Alyssa is back. Well, Alyssa was back yesterday, guys. Uh, I kept her in my drifts, and I'm sorry about that. We're going to go ahead and remove everything with my two-time course carbide safety bed, her beautiful butterflies and all. We are going to take her nails down just a little bit as well. I will clean out from under the nail, push her cuticles back, and then prep the natural nail area with my fine grit sanding band. Keep your drill on a low speed. Keep your drill straight. Do not create any rings of fire or heat spikes, okay? I'm going to cleanse, dehydrate, push your cuticles back a little bit more with 100% acetone. And when I say push them back a little bit more, it's just because when the cuticles are wet, they go back easier. So you have that opportunity to push them back a little bit more. Liquid powder, I'm going to use my chiseled pink on her because the look that she's going for has like this pinkish background. And I figured, hey, let's put the pink acrylic in the back so I don't have to paint, right? Work smarter, not harder. But I do love this pink. It is a good coverall. I think every time I go back to Maxim, I'm going to pick up another chisel because I like their powders. So the inspiration picture she showed me had uh, different colored tips on each nail. And then the wavy lines on the tips. I thought it was pretty, 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 pretty. So we're going to do two coats of each of these colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and slap on the colors first with the brush. Then I will go back and I will fine tune with my uh, Sakura or my um, Sundara, whichever one I picked. I can't remember at this point in the stage because I'm doing a voiceover the next day. I can't remember what I did, guys. I'm old, okay? Give me a break, will you? So this yellow I got is really nice. I put it on thin for the first coat. It did not wrinkle which I am happy because I'm telling you, I have a lot of problems with yellow, pastel yellows, dark yellows, whatever kind of yellow it is, they wrinkle and I will make sure the nail, you know how I am about cleansing the nail before I put the gel on and sometimes there's just nothing I can do to prevent that polish from wrinkling. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if it's the recipe in the gel itself or, or what, but I don't know. So. It really steers me away from using that brand of yellow and then I move on to a new one or I create my own. So I'm going to go ahead and use my art brush for my wavy lines and I'm just going to put them randomly on here. I'm not going to follow the patterns on the nails on the picture because they're kind of hard to follow and it's kind of hard to uh, duplicate anything exactly anyway when it comes to an inspiration picture. So you just take the knowledge you have, the experience you have, you roll with it, and you do the best you can, okay? And if you make a mistake, hey, that base color is cured. Just take it off and start over. No big deal. But after a top coat, guys, here's the final look.